<clears throat> should be up and running now, I think. I'm going to give it a minute as usual to uh, wait and uh, get people to start joining in. And that little number right down there changing from zero to a higher number, preferably higher than zero. <laughs> <clears throat> check the chat here and see if anybody's yakking in there. Glad to smell Hey, welcome. If you can see me, get, say something in the chat so I can make sure that everyone can actually see what's going on here. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> I will in a minute. <clears throat> All right, so um, I'm going to get started here in just a second once that number changes to something other than zero, just to make sure it's actually reflecting accurate numbers. <clears throat> but we're going to be going through the uh, data here for um, for August. So fire month starting up here shortly. Hey, welcome, corruption. Or untitled corruption. <laughs> Whatever term you prefer. Or name you prefer, I should say. There you go, Casey. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and get started here, because I'm sure you can probably see me already at this point. So to start off with, usually um, we have our bosses. So one thing to be aware of right off the bat, um, since according to the calendar anyway, uh, August is going to have three raid, raid weekends and two wars. So there's going to be a total of 10 armors. So there's the four seasonals, the exclusive and the three regular ones, um, uh, two wars, and then three raids, and then a fusion. So there's going to be a total of 10. So here we go. First things first. <clears throat> Here's our boss, boss number one. That's a reused boss. It was originally spirit and water, or water and spirit, one of the two. But it's now fire and fire and water, I believe, based on the colors. <clears throat> so that's a reused boss. Um, that is a new one, I think. That's fire and air, I think. Some effects, and then that one's also a reused boss. That's going to be fire and spirit, I'm going to assume, based on the purple colors. So that's our three bosses. So boss number one, that's a new one. So that's a number five. So boss, oops, I hope I renamed it. Boss one, and again, as usual, this isn't an order of the bosses, just the order they come out in the files. So this is um, boss two and boss three. So again, that's not a guarantee of the order. That's just the order they come out in the files. That's how I, how I name them. So there's our bosses. So let me just really quickly move those. Are you not clicking? There we go. Move you into the folder where I'm going to be putting everything else here shortly. <clears throat> All right, now we go into the armors. I've already briefly looked at this, so I know kind of what's in here. And there are reskins, of course, not as many as last month, thankfully, but there are still a few. Um, some kind of restyled armors. Um, some are just plain reskins, just the same armor with different colors. Um, this one, for example, is one of the raid armors. That's the Fire and Spirit I mentioned, the last of the three. Um, so this is raid armor number one, or armor number one, it's raid. So armor one, um, yeah, there were there was like all but one um, during this month of July. So that is Fire Spirit, that's a raid armor, that one is male. <clears throat> all right, that's a new one, and that one is Fire Water. It's kind of cool looking. Like I said, I've kind of briefly glanced at this already, but I haven't really, really, you know, looked at them closely. So that's a new one. That's fire and water. Armor two, fire water, and that one is male also, I believe. That's the female version of the first one. Oops. That's the female of that one. <coughs> well. Just a preference. That's just a preference of how I do things. It's up to you, really. Um, I just do that to keep track of them, so I know which one's which. So there's the fe the fire and water, but the female version. Uh, 
He only named the male maxed ones. <laughs> I name them all. I've all. I do that every month, just out of habit. So I've always done it. So that's just how I do it now. So yeah, let's see here. So that one is Fire and Spirit. One second. Wife needs the keys. <laughs> there you go. Are there people there? Yes, there's people watching. That's my wife. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so she can see you. <laughs> see you later, honey. All right, so that one, this is one of the ones I mentioned. This is one of the restyled ones. It's not really a full-on reskin. It's more of a restyle. So it has a lot of the looks of the um, uh, Fire and Spirit Armor, uh, what's it called? Um, Shade Flame Edge. A lot of the same kind of looks of the Shade Flame Edge, and the same kind of white little swirly bits on the shoulders and the chest and everything, and the face. Very similar. Yeah, that's, that's my wife. Um, and, uh, but the weapon is different, as well as the shield is a little bit different. It's, not, it's, it's similar-ish, but this one's kind of more of a restyled armor as opposed to just a flat-out reskin. So that one is um, Fire and Spirit also. The original armor, the Shade Flame Edge, was also Fire and Spirit, or Spirit Fire, whatever. Um, so there's Armor 3. Fire Spirit, and that one is male, I think. Should be. <clears throat> All right, then there's the female. That makes it easy. And that's the uh, one of the raid armors, or originally was a raid armor, but it's not this time. At least I don't think. Yeah. So this is this one's actually been used a couple times already. Uh, this is fire and air, um, fire swirl, air swirl. Um, but this one has the head of the. It was an air and air fusion armor uh, prior to them switching over to dual um, exclusives. But that's just the head of it only. Um, everything else is the original raid armor. Um, but this is not a raid armor this time. Um, it has been the previous two times, three times, however many times it's been. Um, it had kind of a horned, kind of you know, kind of horned helmet on it. I'm sure people who have it knew it, know it. Um, it was the voice of Aurus, I think, um, was a spirit nair. And then it was Fire and Air, which was the Smogbound Blade, I think. And then it was one of the ones that was renamed for the top player uh, more recently. It was Fire and Water, I think. So this is Fire and Air. It's the same armor with a different head. So, again, yeah, they really do like this one. It's been, it's been This is the fourth time with a different head, but it's the same armor otherwise. So this one is Armor 4, Fire Air, and that one is Male. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's another new one. Well, kind of new, kind of not. So this one is another one of the ones that's kind of redesigned, restyled somewhat. So this one was originally, um, I think it was Spirit and Earth, I think, or Fire and Earth, one of the two. Uh, the shield is different, the weapon is different, but the armor and the head are more or less the same. So this is another one kind of redone. Wanted Soul, yeah, I think you're right. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is another one that's kind of restyled. It's not really a full-on reskin because the shield and the weapon are different from the original, but the armor is the same more or less, except the head's a little bit different as well. So it's, I can't recall the name, but it was an early season, like season six or seven. Terrestrial Halberd, there you go. So the weapon is different and the head is a little bit different. Like if you look in here, it's similar, but not quite the same. So it's similar to the original one, Terrestrial Halberd. So that's one, that one is a restyled, not really necessarily a reskin. But that one is Fire and Earth, so you can see the Earth swirl here. And the fiery bits, of course, that kind of poke out here and there, and the fire eyes. So that's a fire and earth. Yeah, the original had horns, yep. <clears throat> so this one is armor five, fire earth. Now, if I remember correctly, there are uh, one, two, three fire airs, three fire spirits, two fire waters, a fire earth, and a dual fire. So this is the only fire earth. So this is the seasonal. I had to look at my notes. I kind of wrote down what I saw as I was going through it. So this is the female. Actually, hang on. I may have messed up. Let me look here. Huh. That one's really hard to tell, actually. This one's slightly farther apart in the legs. That's not really necessarily a good indication. Usually you can tell by the chest. Hey, Shadow. Shadow J. Um, welcome. Um, this one, I'm not really positive. Um, which one's which? I think this one's male, actually. And then this one, I think, is... But it's hard to tell. Really hard to tell on that one. Um, 
but they're both the ascended versions so that much is clear because the weapons look the same um, but yeah I think this one is the male I don't have stats yet <laughs> Loki I won't get those until the first part of next month um, welcome by the way um, so this one I think yeah it's hard to say this one's just really not obvious I think I'm gonna move this up here let me zoom in a little bit so I can see these kind of side by side this is the male so this one actually is the female it doesn't look like it but it actually is so this one is actually the female and this one's the male so I had just had them backwards okay zooming back up <clears throat> fire fire will be a lot of attack and really not great HP and not great defense that's <laughs> kind of a good summary this is a new one this one is a fire and fire so this is our duel this is our duel exclusive right here you can kind of see that one broken gem watching ads yes I know I've heard I've already reported it actually I shouldn't say I've already reported it by the time I got to the did the ability to report it to DECA they'd already been notified by three other people so and it's for whatever reason it always seems to affect iOS more than Android I don't know why that is it just always seems to for whatever reason um, I have personally never seen that bingo ad, not once. So, and yeah, it's not really Decca's fault either, as 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 Casey's saying. It's really more an issue on the fiber side, but there's only so much they can do. They can just say, "Hey, fiber, it's broken, fix it," and then they have to just kind of wait to see what they do. This is the mail of the dual fire. So anyway, so back to my what I was doing. Um, six. Uh, that's mail, I believe. I'll check if I'm wrong. This is. Um, fire and air I believe this is the other raid armors this is raid armor number two so we have two reskinned um, raid armors and then an, and then this one's new so this is new armor number two I think or maybe three anyway so this is raid armor number number two of the three that have come out in the file so far so this is the female armor seven fire and air yes fire and air raid not fire and water and fire and spirit only because there's three raids this weekend so that's fire air female uh, that is the th that's the third raid armor right there. That's fire and water. So this one was the uh, what was this one called? Um, I can't remember the name, but it was um, spirit water, I think, water spirit, something like that. Um, but it was uh, one of the first raids actually on EU that I ran where I actually got the top ten armor. Um, it wasn't planned. We just had three people suddenly decide they wanted to go indie, and we had I think it was three of the of the guild were in were in the top ten, so we all ended up getting this armor, even though a lot of us only ended up scoring like twenty million points in total because it was we were still relatively new to EU at the time. But yeah, so this one is this one is the fire water reskin. So this one is uh, armor eight, fire water. That one's the male. And to be truthful, I kind of like the look of this one better as the fire and water, as opposed to the original water and spirit look. I mean, I do like the water and spirit looks in general, but I like the look of this one a bit better as the fire water. That's just me, though. <clears throat> All right, so that's that one. And there's the male version of that fire and air raid armor. <clears throat> male, there we go. And here's another one that's kind of a like a combo reskin. So this one, the body and the... Um, weapon are from one armor and the head and the shield are from another one so this head is originally from a dual air uh, fusion armor from a, wall, a long time ago um, <clears throat> eagle eye guard I think it was called um, but the weapon is from the same season I think of that other one we talked about earlier the terrestrial halberd this one came from the same season but it was earth and water originally but this one's fire and air so I'm guessing um, not really positive at this point, but I'm guessing this one's probably going to be um, the seasonal, just a guess. Um, Ruby's Glider, no, Ruby's Glider was one of the, was the Ringer the Amulet for the um, Atkins Void, the original, I think, something like that. But the armor um, was the, not Terrestrial Halberd, but it was the same season of, because uh, the Terrestrial Halberd was Earth Spirit. This one was Earth Water from the same season. Um, but Ruby's Glider was one of the rings or the amulets from the pre-seasonal Shadow Forged. 
I just can't recall the name. I think it was Akins Void, but I'm not positive. When I say Akins Void, it's A-Q-E-N, just in case that's confusing. <clears throat> but yeah, so this is Fire and Air. I'm thinking this is probably the seasonal, but I'm not positive. So this one is the female armor, oops, armor 9, fire air, and that's female, evil 2. And that is a step down from ascension, male version of the previous fire and air. It's this one here, but one down, one down from ascension. And that's one down from ascension on the male of the very first one, the very first fire and spirit, if memory serves. Yep. So that one is the male of that one, but one step down from ascension. Come on, F2, what are you doing? Thank you. Man, my computer is lagging hard. What is going on here? Hang on. Okay. My computer has decided to suddenly stop responding to me. Apparently I'll have to right-click everything. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. It won't even let me paste. Okay, that's weird. That's really bizarre. All of a sudden my computer decided to stop, started freaking out on me. Valkyrie Soul Plate. There you go. That's what it is. It's really old, yeah. Both of them are, actually. They're both season, like, six or seven, something like that. I can't remember. It's really old, like two-plus years old. Two and a half almost now, I guess. Yeah, eight sounds right. I could be, I, I could be remembering wrong. But, yeah, it's around that same time frame. Oh, good lord. Are you kidding me? I have to right-click everything now? What's going on here? I think my keyboard might be dying. Okay, that's really irritating. I may have to change out my batteries in this stupid thing right now all of a sudden, but enter is working for whatever reason. Okay, I'm going to try this really quick. Give me one second. I'm just going to close this and reopen it. Maybe it's just my computer being dumb. <clears throat> Okay, that's working so far so good oh apparently I can't paste anymore <laughs> I can't that is so weird my computer's being my I'm not sure if it's my computer or my, my keyboard being dumb or what but <clears throat> yeah you're right terrestrial Hubbard was later um, but anyway, I don't know why that's doing what it's doing. So there's the female of the um, the dual fire. This is going to get really irritating really fast. But I can't get this to work. No. Doofy. I forgot to change it. <coughs> so this is the female version of that one. C keyboard's clearly working because I'm doing left and right like this. You can see it working, but... It's just not going to cooperate with me to do control cop. It's like co copy and paste for whatever reason. Okay, now it's going to work. That's stupid, but whatever. Okay. <clears throat> so 18 is the female, I believe, also, but the step down from ascension. Oh, now it's going to work. Of course. Stupid thing. <clears throat> and there's the female of the fire and water raid armor, which I think was that one. Yep. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. Oh yeah, now it's working just fine. For whatever reason, it decides it want to cooperate now. <clears throat> there's the male of the fire and air there we just looked at. But this is the male instead. There's the fire and earth we looked at earlier, but that is the female, I believe, of that one. So that's this one? Yes. Okay. That's the female version of that one. And that's the last one. So this one is another combo reskin. Um, it has the head of the white fur alpha. It was a spirit and water from just a few seasons ago. Uh, but it has the shield of, a, of an armor we actually have in July. Um, it's also a, a re originally from a, uh, a dual fire fusion armor. Like I think it was Infernal Glory or something. But the weapon and armor of a different armor entire uh, weapon and shield sorry we weapon and weapon and, and uh, armor of a different armor entirely like the top <clears throat> so that's an entirely different armor um, so this one's actually three armors in one um, it has the armor sorry the armor and shield of one armor the head of an armor and then a weapon of a third so I forgot the armor actually matches the shield 
Uh, but this was the, I think it was a dual fire Infernal Glory or something like that was the uh, dual fusion or dual uh, fire fusion armor. With the head of the White Fur Alpha, which was originally Spirit and Water, if, or if I remember right. Which I think I have on one of my accounts, if memory serves. Um, but anyway, so this is Fire and Spirit, so this is the last one. So this is Armor 10, Fire Spirit, that is male, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> now we get back into the rest of them. So this one is a step down from Ascension, male of the Fire and Spirit right there. Yes. Okay, so this one, again, is a restyle sort of, of that um, armor originally, which was the Shade Flame Edge, but reskinned. Yeah, this one I actually like a lot too. I, I really like the look of that one. Um, it was originally a cool looking armor in the first place, so it's not that big of a change. And it also was originally Fire Spirit. Although it may have been Spirit Fire, I don't remember now. But I still enjoyed the armor when I had it. I still have it on a few accounts. <clears throat> but I really enjoyed that armor when I first got it. <clears throat> Good looking armor and decent stats at the time as well. Very outdated now, of course, obviously, but <clears throat> still a cool armor. Uh, this is the male, I believe, of the dual fire, but one step down from ascension. So that one's here, and that one is one instead of two. That's the very first fire and water. That's the seasonal, I'm pretty sure. Um, because during Fire Month, the Fire Spirit would have normally been the um, exclusive, but now it's Fire Fire instead. So Fire Water would have been a seasonal normally anyway. So I'm pretty sure this is our Fire Water seasonal, because the only other Fire Water in the files is the Fusion, or the Raid Armor, excuse me, Raid Armor. <clears throat> so in, in the files we have, like I said, we have three Fire, fire, three fire Spirit, um, three Fire Air, two Fire Water, Fire Earth, and Fire Fire. So we have 10 in total. So that's all of them. Last one gave you cancer. <laughs> Honestly, though, I, I've always liked the looks of fire and spirit armors just in general, just because they look cool. Maybe that's just me. <clears throat> so this one is the fire and water up here at the top, but this is the... I'm pretty sure that's the male. Yeah, it looks like it. So that's one step down from Ascension. On the, on the fire water. There is the female version of the very last one. Uh, there's the fire and air, which I think was this one. Nope, 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 nope. Not even close. This one right here, last one. Last fire and air. So this is the male, but the unascended version. <clears throat> there's the female unascended of the last fire and spirit, not the last fire and spirit, the one above it. This one right to go right there yeah but it's the oops wrong one the female there we go <clears throat> okay so there's the fire and water i was right this is the female of the fire and water up here at the top but one step down ascension <clears throat> fire and uh, air at the top that's one of our raid armors that's the female one down one down from ascension there's the female of the fire and water that's the female. That's the raid armor, isn't it? Nope, not that one. There's only two. Where'd it go? Right there. Yep, there it is. So this is a step down from Ascension, but the female one. <clears throat> and the step down... Wait, hang on. Yeah, it is the same. Okay, it didn't look the same there for a second. So this is the same one, but the male instead of the female. They usually are. Um, <clears throat> fire, water, well, adjacent elements in general are always the, always the better option if you have the choice. Um, but yeah, it's the fire, fire, as far as attack, of course, is going to be the best. <clears throat> I think it's probably going to be, and just venturing a guess, the attack's probably likely to be 22,000 or higher um, on a GM, of course, the plus version. Because the um, last dual fire exclusive, one second here. Um, just changing window, sorry. Uh, the last seasonal fire um, was that one. And it was, sorry, it's 22 already. Maybe closer to 24. I don't know. That's That was the last one. 22 already. 
with only 15 defense. So it's like a 7,000 stat point difference between the attack and defense, which is just insane. And the plus version finally got above 1K, um, which is still just ridiculous to me. I love the looks of dual fire armors. That their stats are awful. <clears throat> Infernal, Inferno Gen, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love the looks of fire air armors also, but their stats are just awful. I don't like their stats at all. That's the wrong one. I keep going to that one. Um, is it this one? No. Good lord. I'm on a roll today. That one. Okay, there it is. So this one is the, I'm pretty sure that is the female one step down from Ascension. Oh, hang on. Did I do that wrong? Oh, no, sorry. Male. Whoops. I did that male. It's supposed to be female. There we go. Oh, come on. Did I really do that? Oh, wait a minute. Fire, air. Oh, no, I already have those. I already have those ones outlined. Hang on. Oh, I ran in the wrong ones. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is not the right armor at all. I renamed the wrong one. So this one here actually goes with this one here. I got them backwards. I got them all backwards. So this one I renamed wrong. So this one here, I think it is. Yeah, this is actually supposed to be the other one. So let me quickly fix that. So this one, and then it's this one here, I believe. But it's going to be armor number four. Or number, yeah. <clears throat> Hang on. Let me, let, me un, let me undo that. This one needs to be armor seven, Evo one. There we go. <clears throat> and then we have, let me close this and start fresh here. So fire, air, male. Okay, so that one's wrong also. So this one is actually armor seven. Let me fix that really quick too. So armor four needs to be that one. Whoops, no. Needs to be armor one. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so now if I go to here, I should have ascension, one step down. Ascension, one step down. Okay, much better. Back to where I was going in the first place. <clears throat> so image 33, which is now this one, now that I'm back on track and not being a, not being a derp, um, will now be better. Okay, <clears throat> so this one is the fire and air up here. Yes, just making sure I'm not screwing it up again. So this one is, I'm pretty sure, the male. But there, it's hard to tell with some of these. Oh, for crap's sake, I must have hit the wrong button. 34, okay. There's the base male of the dual fire. Oh, for crap's sake, stop that. I didn't double click you. There we go. And there is the fire and air at the very bottom. Yes, okay. Fire and air at the very bottom, but that is the female instead of the male. <clears throat> and there is the female dual fire ba uh, base instead of male. Much better. Okay. <clears throat> There's the base of the male of the very, very first fire and spirit. That's the raid armor. There is the step down from ascension, I think, of that one. Yeah, that is a step down. Okay. But it is still the male. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. And there's the female right below it. Handy dandy. And there is the base of the fire and spirit, which I think was this one. Yes. Okay, good. Got it right the first time. But that is the female, not the male. And that's the base of that one. Almost there. If I could spell correctly, that would be helpful. Um, and there's the base of the female, the very first one at the top. There's the fire and earth. Um, I can't remember the name. Valkyrie soul plate. There you go. I had to look back at the chat and remind, remind myself what it was. Welcome, Green. How's it going? All right. This one's easy because it's the only fire and earth. So it's hard, hard to mess that one up. 
<laughs> Unlike the fire air and fire spirit, I keep getting wrong. <clears throat> okay, and there's the base of the male of the fire and water. I think it's this one. Nope, it's that one. There we go. I think it's this one. Yes, okay, just making sure. Okay, so that one is the base of the male of that one. There's the base of the, that's male, I think, of that one. The fire spirit right there. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the base of the male of this one. There's the base male of the fire and water up here at the top, which I believe is our seasonal. Yeah, that is male. Okay. There's the base of the female of that fire and water at the very top. Or no, not the very top. It's this one right here I was just looking at, I think. Yeah, okay. Just making sure, again, that I'm not messing myself up. <coughs> All right. There's the base of the male guy here at the very bottom. Fire and spirit, the very last one. And there's the base of the female of the fire and air raid armor, which I believe is that one. Yep. Okay, good. I'm on a roll. I'm not screwing myself up too much. <clears throat> There's the base of the male right next to it. Handy dandy. <clears throat> yeah, that's always that's always the problem with <clears throat> with dual fires. They always have bad health. Same with fire air, really. Fire air is just a little bit better, but not substantially. Like you know, 1100 versus a thousand or something, or like or 1050. But they're still very similar in in that a lot of respects because they're Fire and error are not known for for uh, high HP in the first place, <clears throat> so they're always going to be bad no matter what, pretty much. Even though I like the looks of them, they're just not great stats wise. So this is fire and error. Um, like this is the one I keep messing myself up on. Is it this one? Haha! -ha, no, it's not. <laughs> it's fire air at the top. There we go. That's it. Okay, so that's the right one. If I can get these all in my head straight. <clears throat> and there is the fire and earth. That is the female, one step down from ascension if memory serves. There's the base of the male of the same one. Okay, that's handy. There's the base of the female of the fire and water. Not this one, was it? No, that's the raid armor. Fire water up the top. That's it right there. <clears throat> but the female version instead. <coughs> the attack stats are awesome. The rest of the stats, not so much. I think. Yeah, okay. So this is the female one step down from Ascension. That one's kind of out of a funk out of order, kind of in a funky way. And then the base of the same armor. Also female. And I think we have just this female here, I think, and we are done with sorting the armors anyway. We still have to go through the rings and amulets and heads. Oh, no, sorry, I forgot one. That's the fire and air. I think it's this one, if memory serves me. Yes, okay. So that's the base of the, f of the male. And the base of the female. I'll just grab that one really quick while I'm at it. <clears throat> yes, we've we've talked about it, and we've it's already been reported to Decca by like three different people. <clears throat> okay, and then we have the fire and earth. That is the female base, which is number five. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and there's our wings. This is the cape slash wings, which I think is pretty cool looking. Just a big flame, basically flame wings, coming out of the back there. And you can kind of see what it looks like with the flame and without. So those are the effects for the for the cape or the wings. And I like to put these in their own folder just to kind of get them out of my way. So we have both the kind of uh, what it looks like kind of on the body as well as the looks of the armor itself. And I'm not sure why they do this. They always put two of the same file. I don't know why. Always the same. Although sometimes it'll be 
Um, so I'm actually going back and forth, but you actually can't tell. I'm going back and forth from 61 to 62. But usually what happens is they'll have one, <clears throat> one set of the wings or the cape kind of in an upright fashion, like attack, attack mode, if you will. And then the other one where they're kind of relaxed, which is more of a like stance, just standing still, like prior to fighting, that sort of thing. So those are the, those are the capes. So 60, 61, and 62. Give myself a new folder. And the very first one is the cape itself. So I'll name that one cape, and I'll copy it right now into my folder where the rest of the stuff will go. <clears throat> OK. All right. <clears throat> Moving on, here's a pet. The pet looks like some kind of bird. I honestly don't know what to call it otherwise. Let me just grab those out really quick. So we have 63 to 65. 68. So 63 to 65. Let me name the folder here really quick. 63 to 65 and 68. And 69. That's handy. Okay. And we're going to move those into their own folder, get them out of my way for the moment. <clears throat> and there's the head of the dual fire right there. That's it. So, probably a phoenix. Yeah, it probably is. There's the Shade Flame Edge reskin, restyle. There's the new fire water, there's a fire air, there's a fire air, there's a fire water. There's pet number one, so 76, 77, 76, 77, and then 79, 80, and 81. Okay. Let me drop those in a folder really quick. Close that. Okay, so I'm going to just really quickly rename all these. So <clears throat> that one, hard to tell on these some of the sometimes. That one looks to be tier one, just judging by the size of the head, but I could be wrong because it kind of gets more streamlined. That one right there is tier five, I'm pretty sure. I think 81 is tier five, but I'm not positive. <clears throat> so let's see here. Nope, sorry. 79 is tier five. And then 81 is tier four. This is really hard to tell. Let me close this again. <clears throat> so 76. That one looks to be tier one. I'm thinking 76 is probably tier one. And then 77 is tier two. And 80 is tier three. There we go. OK. So <clears throat> that's the pets. Before anyone asks, I have no clue if they have Shatter or not. All I have is images. Very unlikely that they do, but you never know. OK, so that is our raid armor. That is fire and air raid armor, which I think is, no, nope, not that one. I did that again. Fire and air right here. Yeah, so that one is armor number seven's head. That is the fire and water. Whoops, sorry. Go back. Goofy. Um, that one, I think, is this one. Yes, sir. Fire and spirit. This one's also a reskin. Um, not that surprising, really. They do that a lot with raid armors. But there's usually a new one, and this month it's, it's fire and air. <clears throat> then we have the dual fire, if memory serves me correctly. Yep. And I mentioned this before also. You'll notice the little wings coming off the sides of the head there. They're a little more pronounced here. They're a bit longer. They come back farther. They do this actually quite a lot with these, and I've mentioned this in previous streams. Um, uh, no, they're not all reskins. Um, <clears throat> there's actually, I think it's three or four brand new armors. Um, there's a few that are kind of restyled, not really reskins. They're kind of a restyled look. Um, and welcome, by the way. Um, <clears throat> but they're not exactly the same as the original ones. They like they have a different weapon than the previous, or they have a different shield, or the head's been slightly restyled, or whatever. But they're not just plain recolors, like they usually are. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I was saying, like, this head, the wings, they kind of shorten them down a little bit, so they fit better in those circles um, inside when you, like, have them up at the top of the screen when you're fighting. So they make them a little bit smaller. So that's that one there. Anyway, that's the dual fire. That's the head for that puppy there. Uh, then we have the Fire and Spirit, which is the restyled I just mentioned. Um, that one is, I think, this one. Yeah. So you can kind of see it here, uh, what I was talking about. 
It has a similar kind of head to the Shade Flame Edge, um, but the armor is slightly different. Uh, similar kind of the little white, little curly Q things that come off of it are similar to the original, the, uh, but the weapon is different and the shield is different. So it's not exactly the same. They've restyled some of the elements of it, but it is still, it's still kind of similar to the original. <clears throat> but I think it's a better looking armor in general all the way around, though. Even though I did like the original Shade Flame Edge quite a bit. Then we have the brand new Fire Water, which I believe is, whoops, not, not that one. It's up at the top. That one. There we go. So that's, again, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is our seasonal, our Fire Water seasonal. Oops, that helped find the right, right keys there. So that's armor number two. There's our Fire and Air but not that one. I think it's this one right here. I guess it is. Um, yep, that's that one. One second. I'm getting messages. <laughs> no, I actually... Sorry, guys are chatting at me in the in the online. Um... Asking me if I vape meth. No, sorry guys, I don't. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so, <clears throat> yeah, this, this month's July's was like, what, one brand new armor and then a couple that were restyled, but the rest were just recolored, re regular reskins. Um, yeah, it's I was not a big fan either, but it is what it is. I don't work for DECA, so there's not really a whole lot I can do about it anyway. Um, that one right there, yeah. <clears throat> so that's the head. Whoops. <laughs> Too many copies and pastes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this month is definitely better. There is there is still reskins, of course, but there's not as many um, as there was. Usually most months it's about half-ish. So if there's, say, nine armors, it'll be either four or five in total that are reskins. This month it's four that are new ish um, but not really new new so that one is the Valkyrie soul plate originally the armor but the head of, of another armor that's kind of a different look so the head I think has been used before as well I just can't recall on what um, but it's from a different armor entirely so that one is the fire and earth the only fire and earth in the files which is this one so the shield is different the weapon is different but the armor and the head are from a different armor um, Hey, Rush, welcome. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know you were on. All right. Um, so there's that one. I think we should be very nearly done. Yep, we're in rings and amulets now. So this one is the, um, the very first armor, which is the original ring. <laughs> I don't think I'm play some this weekend. Yeah, for this month. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Um, so this is the original ring that went with this armor in the first place, so I presumably it'll use the original amulet as well, just recolored. So this is that armor right there. That's the ring for that one. <clears throat> hey, Caveny. Um, is it a remake? Which one? Sorry. I don't know which one you're talking about. That's the Firewater Raid armor, I think. This one? That's the amulet for that one, because that's the original amulet, but this time it's been styled for water instead of spirit, I think it was originally. Um, that's a new one. I'm going to skip past these. So there's the um, the ring that goes with that one I just mentioned, the fire and earth. It's this one. It's the original ring that went with this one, with the armor anyway. Um, I'll just name that one really quick while I'm here. Ring. Get that one out of my way. Um, there is the ring that went with that one I was just talking about, that fire water, which is this one, I think, yeah. So that's the ring for that one. That's the original ring also, but recolored. Um, there is the original amulet from the fire and air, which I think was, nope, not that one. It was this one right here. Nope. What the hell? Oh, wait, was it that one? No, it was not that one. The very top. Fire at the top. That's why I'm getting all confused. Because this was the original um, amulet for that one. The original armor had that amulet. And there's the Shade Flame Edge ring. 
So that's obviously the shade flame edge. So it's this one right here. Yeah. So that's the original ring from the shade flame edge. They've just slightly restyled it again. This one is more or less just a recolor. Not really any different otherwise looks and looks. That one is the fire and air I just looked at. This one right here. That is the ring that went with the head, the original armor that was the head. <clears throat> I can't remember the name. It was like Ebon Sky Liege or something like that. It was dual air. That was the original ring that went with that armor. Let's do this one. Oops. No, don't do that. Um, the original ring that went with this armor. So let me copy. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed for a second. Okay. There we go. That's a new one. That's the raid armor. I'll come back to that one. That's the one at the very top. It's the original amulet for that one. <clears throat> so that's no different, really, than before. So that's the amulet for that one. Again, just different color scheme. That's a new one. I'll skip that one. That's a new one. I know what that one goes with, but I'll skip it. I know that one, too. I know that one, too. That one... Oh, that, what did that armor... What armor did that go with? It's a fire air, I think. Um, I can think of what it was now. No, not that one. Oh, no, it's going to drive me nuts now. Um, it's not the fire water. It's not the fire spirit, at least I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> it's not that one because I've already got both of those. It could be the fire earth, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, it looks very similar, in fact, to the shield. Not exactly the same, though. Maybe not. I might have to come back to that one, too. That one's a confusing one. Um, it's not that one, because I've already seen that one. It's not that one either. It could be this one, actually. Yeah, it very well could be. It looks very similar to the shield also. I'm going to come back to that one. I'm going to work on the other ones first. Why is the Burnwill Lance amulet in here? That's a spirit amulet, obviously, but which one does it go with? Wait a minute, did I come across the head for this one? I didn't. I haven't gotten to the head of that one yet. Huh, interesting. Okay. Um, that's weird. I usually come across the head for it already. Did I miss it? I may have missed it. Or did I just skip it being a bonehead? Okay, let me close. Start over. <clears throat> okay, so this one looks like it might go with a dual fire. Maybe. Mm, no, I'm thinking probably not. Color scheme is similar, but I don't think so. Look at the shoulders. Sometimes it's the shoulders, sometimes it's the shield, sometimes it's the weapon. It's hard to say sometimes. Sometimes it even looks like the waist, like this kind of the center, center section here. I don't think it's that one either. Okay, let's look around a bit here. <clears throat> so, of the new armors, we have the fire water, which I know it's not that one because I've already seen the amulet for that one. Um, no, definitely not that one. Looks nothing like it. Um, whoops, wrong one. Um, it's not that one because I already have the amulet for that one. Um, it could be this one, actually. It does kind of look similar to the shield in a lot of ways. I'm going to say for now it goes with this one because it does look really similar to that shield. Not exactly the same, but a lot of the same kind of shapes. So just for comparison, if I open up the one that's just a step down from Ascension, <clears throat> it looks far more similar to that one. kind of has the same little golden piece here in the middle, same color scheme. Well, of course, this is different because it's Earth, um, but the armor itself is Fire and Earth. You are a bit late, yeah. You're about, well, when you when you first said something, yeah, it's about 50-ish minutes into it, but you haven't missed that much. I haven't still haven't put armors together yet. Um, so that is the Fire and Earth amulet. So it used the original ring that went with the armor, but not the same amulet. So they have redone that, at least that much of it anyway. Because the, because the uh, shield, I think, is new. I don't think it's been used before. <clears throat> There's the Fire and Air raid armor, which I think is that one. Looks just like the shield more often than not. 
and it does. It looks just like the shield, but different color scheme, of course, because it's air instead of fire. All right, <clears throat> so that's that one. That's the amulet for that puppy. And then we have this one, which is, huh, I may have made a mistake. Maybe not. I'll look. <clears throat> Where's the fire water? I don't think it's fire water, but it looks like it might possibly be. No, I've seen that that head on something else. May have been an amulet though. There's none of that gold spiky bit on there either, so it's definitely not that one. <clears throat> that one might actually be the dual fire. Where's the dual fire? I'm blind. There we go. Um, mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Elite rework? No. Um, I'm pretty sure it's brand new. I mean, it looks brand new to me. <clears throat> it has some similarities, of course, to previous armors, which it's going to happen because there's only so many designs that you can kind of come up with, I suppose, if you're always using the same art team. But it doesn't look like it's a re restyle or a re remake to me anyway. It looks like it's brand new. Um, is that one? I don't think it is. It doesn't look like it. No. There's no gold spikes. There's kind of white colored spikes because it's fire and air, but there's no gold. I'll come back to that one. It might it might be that one after all, but it's not that one because I already got that one. Um, maybe this one? Mm, unlikely. Don't think so. No, oh, thanks. Yeah, it's it's looking pretty cool. Um, I usually like the look of fire armors. I just don't like the stats of them very much, except for the fire spirits and the fire water somewhat. Um, so that's the fire water, which is the brand new one, which is right up here at the top. That one, right. Oops. No, don't do that. Doof. Um, this one right here. So it looks just like the shield, which is really not that surprising, but in water colors instead of fire. Go figure. Um, so that one is the amulet for that one. That one's pretty easy. So that one is the amulet for that one. And I'm just double checking my numbers because I messed myself up before in the past. That's the one I was looking for. That's the, nope, not the dual fire. Whoops, wrong one. Um, was it the fire and water I was just literally looking at? Yes, it was, right there, same head, cool. Yeah, exclusive is not a reskin. It looks. It doesn't look like it's even like a remake-ish. It's very, it looks very new to me. So that's the fire water ring instead. Okay, that one, <clears throat> um, I'm not sure. That one could actually be the fire and air. No, not that one. Um, where is it? I'm blind. <laughs> I need better glasses. I actually don't need glasses. I got lucky. Um, there we go. It's this one. Um, I'm pretty sure anyway, because it has the same kind of center piece here and the same kind of curl curve thingies, but going the other direction. Um, so that looks like it's this one because it looks very similar to the shield in shape, but these instead of going up in this way, it goes out in that way instead. So it's very similar though in look otherwise. And it does actually look a lot like the arm right there, that kind of spirally bit. So yeah, anyway, that's that one. So that's the ring for that puppy. All right, <clears throat> that one and that one, I'm, whoops, not that one. Um, that one I'm not really sure about. I think I may have made a mistake on one of the other ones. And that amulet, I really don't know. Oh, nope, I messed up. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Let me undo that. That one right there is actually the, the amulet. I definitely made a mistake on that one. I just looked at it and went, oh, that looks just like the shield, like identical to the shield. So I definitely did not get that one right. So if I go to here, look at that and compare it to that, it's exactly the same. So definitely made a mistake. Okay. So I still have, let's see. So my fire and spirit, I know I have that one right because it's all identical, just recolored. Um, the fire and water, I know that one's right because I've already checked that one. The shade flame edge, recolor, reskin, restyle, whatever you want to call it, I think might be actually using the shade burn one of the shade burn, the Burnwell Lance, which was the uh, Spirit and Earth exclusive, or Spirit and Fire, actually, um, from from forever ago, like season eight or nine or something. Um, this one, I think, uses that ring, or that amulet, rather. Because um, I don't have a ring, I don't have an amulet for it. I only have the ring. 
So I'm going to guess that that one goes with this one until I have evidence to the contrary, which is this one right here. So I'm going to guess it goes with that one until I have proof otherwise. All right. <clears throat> now we just got to figure out these last few. Okay, so fire and spirit, that one's done. Fire and water, that one's done. Um, fire and spirit here, I'm pretty sure that one's done. Fire and air, that one I know is done. This one, the fire and earth. This ring, I'm not positive if that's the right one for that armor or not. So if I go back to here and I look at the armor, it looks like it belongs to it. Let me go back to here. It looks like it belongs, but I'm not positive. It does look similar in a lot of ways. And it does have a very similar kind of color scheme. It's very fire and earthy looking, um, but I'm not positive that's the right one. It does look like it to me, but that one I'm kind of iffy on. I'm not positive that's the right one, but I, I mean, it's. I have no evidence to the contrary at this point, so I'm pretty sure it is. <clears throat> but then I look at this one right here, and again, I'm not really sure. It's hard to say. I mean, it's not, not really positive. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Um, this is sometimes the hardest part of doing this every month, is trying to figure out where the hell these things go. That one I need to figure out as well. Let me look at that one really quick, and I'll kind of change change tack here and look. Um, there is no kind of gem look to that. There's no eyeball in it. It doesn't have any spiky bits. I don't think it goes with that one. It's even kind of the wrong color scheme. So I'm pretty sure it's not that one. Let me see here. What else do we have? That one actually might be... This might be the ring for that one, actually, now that I look at it. It doesn't have the spiky bits in white, but then again, it doesn't need them because it's a fire ring. And if you look at the shoulder, now that I actually spend some time and look at it, that looks just like that. So, duh. <laughs> That's just me overlooking it. So this one is the ring for our fire and air raid armor. Right there. Ta-da. Okay, so that one's done. <clears throat> All right. Give me one second here. All right. <clears throat> so that's our fire and air ring. So we're down to only three left now. So this one is the one I got to figure out. I'm almost positive it's not that one. <laughs> Looks nothing like it. So that weapon right there if memory serves, is from, a, is from a spirit and air armor, or air and spirit, one of the two. Um, and this is from a spirit and water armor, and then the armor and the shield are from a dual fire. So it being fire spirit kind of makes sense, because the armor, or the uh, the head and the weapon come from spirit armors, and the armor and the shield come from fire armor. So kind of makes sense. Um, but this one, I'm not really sure. Because if I remember correctly, this one right here, um, was from a fire and air armor, I think. Something like that. I can't remember now. It was like, um, I think it was like a war or raid armor, maybe? I can't remember now. I can't remember what it was, but it, I think that's what it was. And then we have this one, which is the, oh crap. I think I may have, boot, I may have, I'm, oh actually no, wait, hang on. I think I just found my ring and amulet set right there. Hang on, I think I just found my problem. I, th I assumed this one went with that armor, and I don't think it does. I think this one actually goes with the fire and earth. Yeah, I think it does. I think that actually went with this, orig this armor originally, now that I look at it. This is a hard one. I'm not honestly really positive. So let me s just copy that really quick, and I'm going to rename this one as image 94, so I'm not getting in over on top of each other. And I think this one right here is actually that ring instead. <clears throat> so we're going to change that for now. So I think I may have actually messed myself up. This one, I believe, actually goes with that armor also as the amulet. 
but it doesn't, no, actually, no, it doesn't, because that doesn't look anything like it. I think this one is actually the Shade Flame Edge reskin, which was, where did it go? Fire Spirit, where are you? I'm losing track of my armors. That one right there. Because if you look at the color scheme, it's, of course, a spirit amulet. But if you look at the color scheme on the two of them side by side, it does look very similar. Um, so the Burnwell Lance amulet that I thought was the amulet that went with this, I don't think does. So I'm going to rename this one as Image 93, and I'm going to rename this one as that amulet, because I think it actually goes with that one instead. And then I think this goes with this last guy down here, I think because it's the only other amulet really left. Um, and then the ring Wait a minute. No, I'm very confused. Hang on a second. Let me I'm going to I have two rings left and I need a ring and an amulet. Okay, amulet, armor, 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 head, armor, 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 ring. Got it. Amulet, armor, 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 head, armor, 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 ring. Got it. That one is, I'm pretty sure, right. I think. Although, now that I look at it, that is the Burnwell Lance end. That's the Burnwell Lance weapon. So actually, I was right in the first place. So this one down here is, in fact, not the amulet for that one. We're going to rename this one as, whoops, that is actually the wrong one. So we're going to name this one as Armor 3, Amulet 2, just temporarily, because I have to rename this one here as the other one. There we go. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have that right now. Because now that I look at it, like I said, that is the Burn Will Lance weapon, but the end is different, more similar to the Shade Flame Edge. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. It's it's still a cool looking armor, that water spirit one. It's still I, I like this one down here a lot better than the original one. If that's the one you're referring to, that is. Because um, this one was originally a water water spirit, um, spirit water, whatever. White for alpha. <clears throat> um, but I have two rings left, and I need an amulet and a ring. So I'm really confused. <laughs> I'm really confused. Let me go back through these again. Okay, so this one, I've, I got that sorted out. So this one is the original um, original amulet uh, from that armor. Looks just like the shield. Um, the head, which is a different armor entirely. And that's the ring, for, I'm pretty sure, from that armor. Um, yeah, okay. I wanted, just wasn't sure. I wanted to make sure I wasn't completely smoking dope. Okay, let me look in here. I'm going to look really quick here and look for that. I'm going to look up that uh, dual fire fusion armor. Ebon Sky, yeah, Ebon Sky Liege. And the ring. Okay, so there is the original file. You can kind of see it here if I zoom in. That's the original ring from the dual, fusion, dual air fusion. So there it is. So I know that's right. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to be sure. I pulled that up from the wiki really fast, just so I could be completely on base. Okay. Um, so that one is correct. Okay, so I know that one's right. So I can I can skip that one. That one, I'm pretty sure, if you look at the shield again, and you look at the ring, it does have a very similar, especially on Ascension 2, or uh, uh, Evolution 1, rather, um, the step just right below Ascension. It does look very similar to that right there very similar, uh, like a lot. So it looks, I even mean, has the same kind of like, almost looks like a skull, sort of. Okay, so that one's good. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure that's the right amulet for it, I think. Mm, not really positive on that one. It's tough to say. Um, so that's the ring for that, for that one there, and there's the amulet. Okay, good. So fire and earth, I'm positive, pretty positive, is right. So there's the dual fire, which I'm pretty sure, again, is correct because... Oh, wait. I don't have the ring. I, re I named one wrong here. Hang on. That's the amulet for the dual fire. 
I don't have the ring for the dual fire. How the hell did I get the, how the hell did I miss that? That's got to be it right there, then. I think. Oh, yeah. I, I Stupid. Just me being dumb. Don't mind me. I renamed the wrong damn file. I th was thinking, oh, that can't be right. That's got to be wrong. Armor 6, fire, fire, ring. I named the amulet, or I named the ring the amulet on accident, so I renamed it and sent it back to the bottom again, and then I realized I never fixed it. So that is the ring for this armor. So it is the same look and feel of that armor there. It just is right there, the bottom of the, of the chest. I was actually talking about that earlier. If you look right there, it's just upside down. Like, if you imagine this is the top of the waist and this is the bottom of the waist, right there. <laughs> Duh. I was actually just talking about how sometimes they look like the waist. Okay. Anyway, back on track. So there is the fire and air uh, raid armor, which has the right ring and the right amulet, or the right ring and amulet. This is the original amulet and ring for this one, so I know that one's right. This one I need the amulet for. I don't have the amulet for this one. That's where I'm, one of the ones I'm missing. I think. Unless I've royally messed up here. So these are the crafting materials here at the bottom. We'll get back to those in a second. Um, <clears throat> so the fire and air, unless I've done something royally wrong, are just missing. Okay. Bear with me for just another second. <clears throat> I'm going to jump back to my original folder here where I do the extraction. And I'm going to grab my file. Actually, hang on. Let me jump back to my original source file. And grab a fresh copy. Um, where are you? There it is. Just to be safe, I'm grabbing a fresh copy. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Let's just go down to the bottom. Oops, no. Just going back through the original images here on my other screen, so bear with me for just a moment here. Pet, 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 pet. Head, 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 bunches of heads. Huh. If you're on, still on, Casey, by chance, um, did you have those in your files originally? Because I'm not seeing it. Um, anywhere. Like, I'm looking, but I'm not seeing it. One second here. I'm going to move this out of the way. Sorry, Casey, I'm, I just pulled your sheet up really fast just to compare notes. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you had assigned. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. That's the same. That's the same. Okay, that one's actually different. But why am I missing that head? That is so weird. Huh. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, so this one, it looks very air to me, and that's actually kind of what I was thinking was it went with this one. So it's actually along the lines of what I was thinking in the first place, but I named it after this one instead. So we're going to change it. This is going to be the amulet for the fire and air. And somehow, I don't know how, I seem to have moved the wrong images or something. I honestly don't know what I did. Okay, that's all the same. There should be a total of 102 files. <clears throat> so there's 89, 99, 102. Yep. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm sitting here at an at like an hour and 10 minutes, and I'm like utterly lost. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Why am I so confused? So the so let's go back here to the start. I'm going to start kind of back up at the top here. <clears throat> so I know that that one's correct. I'm just going to skip that one. I know that one's also correct, so I can skip that one. And then this one, I'm thinking, yeah, this is Shade Burn Amulet, so that's fine. And then the, the, um, 
not the shade burn, I keep calling it that, the burn will lance um, amulet, and then the shade flame edge ring, then that one is the original one of that one. I know that one's fine. Okay. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have this one, which I'm pretty sure, now that I think about it, that might actually not be the right ring for that one. That one might actually go with the fire and air I was just looking at. I think the one I picked originally, this one, I think actually goes with it. So five, let's copy that. We're going to name this one armor 10, fire, air. I think it's 10. Oh, it's nine, sorry. Um, and this one I think is the fire, earth, ring. Okay. <clears throat> so let's close that. Back up to here again to our fire and earth. So that one, the amulet, I'm pretty sure that's right already because it goes with the shield. And then the ring, I think, goes with the original armor, the head of the original armor. Okay, then we have the fire, fire, all that one's good to go. Got that one all taken care of. The, um, that one's all taken care of as well, the fire and air raid armor. That one's the fire and water raid armor, that one's all good. Then we have the fire, air, amulet, all the way down to the ring. And then this one at the end, this fire and spirit. I don't know what this one is. This one is missing a head and a ring and amulet set. So I'm assuming this one we're gonna have to we're gonna get an updated file hopefully in the near future here um, hopefully <laughs> nothing yet at this point I just checked but that one is definitely missing its other data so I'll still create it I'll still create the armor like I normally do but there's no ring and amulet set or head to go with it and there almost always is so that one's kind of the odd one out so this last fire and spirit here doesn't seem to have any ring or amulet set to go with it or a head and they always have that head like this one here. So for whatever reason, I'm missing those last few bits of data. But I'll update the sheet eventually when I get them. <coughs> Excuse me. So that one's that. So that's that's what I was actually looking for. I was like, why is this missing data? But it's but why am I missing data for this one in particular? It's because it doesn't have any. So that one, I don't have a ring and amulet set for at this point or a head. But I don't normally put the heads in the file in the sheet anyway. But I just like to have them all there for consistency. Anyway. So, Season 37, believe it or not, Material 1 and Material 2. I don't know which one's which at this point, but that's all I have for this point. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the rings and amulets and the heads, except for the last one, obviously, because I don't have either for them, for that one. I drop them all into my usual folder where I put everything once I've made the armors themselves and the capes and pets copy and drop them all into here. Ta-da! Actually, I didn't need to move the pets. I only needed to move the pet images, not the entire folder. Derp. I guess I can just leave it there. It doesn't matter. don't really need that one in there either because I already have it in the folder. Okay. Getting ahead of myself. Don't mind me while I derp. Okay. Moving on. Let's do the first five. Give this a minute to load. Yeah, uh, editing application that I use, if I haven't used it recently, it just takes forever to initially load up the, after I have after I've haven't used it for a while. Sorry, that was probably kind of loud. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, anyway. Okay, now it's loading. And I'm going to try to burn through this kind of quickly here because I took so long sorting through everything else prior. So number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so give me just a quick second here to have a quick vape. And then we will get going on the armor creation. Now this one, of course, everyone's seen this and already. It's been in the game like twice prior to now. So, yeah. This is actually the uh, the last hero or last epic boss armor, wasn't it? This one, I think. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Casey. The um, ring and amulet, or the head for that last one, the fire spirit. I don't have it in here at all. Um, that's what I was talking about. I was wondering if you saw it or not. But then I looked at your files that you sent me earlier. You don't have them there either. So yeah, that's what I was asking about. <clears throat> Alright. 
there's our head. I did always like the wings on this armor originally. Whoops, went way too far down the map. Um, I liked this armor originally in the first place when it first came out, the very first, which I think was an Earth Air, Air Earth, something like that. I did like this one armor, armor a lot in the original release of it. Right about there. <clears throat> so this is just a different color scheme on the same armor. So, you know, it's not bad looking necessarily. Fire Spirit instead of Earth Air or whatever. But it's just, you know, I, I really wish, and I've mentioned this multiple times in previous streams, I wish I really wish we would just not get reskins anymore, but that's probably, you know, wishful thinking. I'm sure we're probably still going to get them periodically just because changing the color scheme of an armor is, of course, much cheaper than creating a brand new armor. And I think a lot of it just comes down to a simple, you know, cost ratio. It's just cheaper to make, you know, recolors rather than re brand new armors. Financially, a wiser decision, if you will. Understaffed and underfunded. Shamanic Avenger, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's why I do what I do. <laughs> Midnight Rider, in response to what you said. Um, <clears throat> that's the reason why I do it, is because I want people to kind of have a heads up ahead of time before they actually get stuff. And then... Um, I get the stats from DECA right at the first of the month. With the exception of the fusion armors, I never get those ahead of time, so I kind of have to wait on someone to get them in-game before I can make those sheets, um, for the for the fusion armors in particular. But I get all the rest of the data ahead of time. So that's why I create the stat sheets for the uh, seasonals right at the first of the month, usually within the first week. And then as each event comes out, usually I have the stat sheet completed before the event even starts. I just don't release it until the event's announced. So that's the reason why you don't normally see a lot of that stuff in advance. I have it, I just don't release it. I'm not really allowed to even give out details about it. Well, because not only do I not know the order of the events, so like for example, I have the stats for the War Armor that's coming out next weekend, not this coming, but next. Um, but and I even know what the armor's name is, but I, I can't release any of it because it hasn't been announced yet. So even though I know all, all the stats and what it looks like, I mean, well, of course I know what it looks like. It was released like a month ago, but it's, um, I know what the armor's called, and I know what the stats are, but nobody else does, except for me and, really, and Decca. Um, but anyway, I was just kind of wanting to, you know, let people know that I do have that data ahead. Yes, we are still, we are still alive, Dr. Redstone. Welcome. All right. There's that. <clears throat> so that's what that armor looks like. All done. <clears throat> oh, no worries. <coughs> Excuse me. No worries at all. It's uh, about an hour and 16, 17 minutes right now since I originally started recording. Um, that doesn't mean, of course, that I've been, you know, working the entire time because I was chatting for a bit there and getting myself completely lost on the rings and amulets because I was trying to figure out where the ring and amulet set was for one of the armors, and it's not in the files. So, <laughs> obviously, I'm missing it. <clears throat> so, this is the... Shamanic Avenger, the current, well not current, but the most recent epic boss re reloaded armor. But this is the original armor recolored as Fire Spirit instead. So, <clears throat> let me zoom out here a little bit, get this back to the size I want it to be. Whoops, too far. There we go. Uh, about 265-ish. Oh, beast mode. Yeah, didn't what didn't recognize the name, which is really not that surprising. Most people's names don't match <laughs> between what they are and um, online as well as what they are in on Twitch. <clears throat> okay, so there's that one. So there's armor number one. Uh, wrong folder. For anyone who was paying attention right there, you probably could pause it and see the name of the armor coming up. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> I messed up. I should have put that in another window. Oh, well. Too late now. Um, so let's see here. There we go. Okay, so armor one. Fire spirit. There's that one. And I want to save it because I didn't actually change anything. I just moved something on accident. So this is a brand new one. There's the fire water, which, I, again, I'm pretty sure is the seasonal because the other only other one is um, is the, the raid armor, which is armor number seven or whatever. <clears throat> All right, there, 
there's that one. And this is a brand new one as well. It doesn't look anything like, well, not I can't say it doesn't look anything like. It doesn't look enough like any previous armor to say that it's a rework or a reskin. It looks like an entirely new armor to me. And I do like the look of it. <clears throat> I like firewater armors, though, in general, so it's not a big surprise. This one has kind of a... I don't know what the term would be. Um, if anybody knows what a jester is, uh, an old court jester, the kind of the guy that made the king laugh and the, entertained the king, it has kind of those boots and the little flares coming off the sides here, but not the rest of the armor at all, just the bottom kind of half of the armor has that kind of look to it. Maybe I'm smoking large quantities of crack, and I'm completely out on my own in that opinion, but it kind of looks like that to me, the bottom half anyway. Obviously not the top half, top half, because there wouldn't be any jester. They would have these massive horns and the skull-looking thing on the arm anyway. <laughs> All right. There's that armor. Let me just jump out of here really quick. So there's that armor before I add the shield and everything to it. So people can kind of see it. Uh, where's the shield? There it is. Got to get the right-facing one here. And there's the shield, which sadly covers up a lot of that arm and that shoulder. But that's pretty common. Oop, zoomed in a little too far on that one. And there's the weapon, which I'm going to have to blend in that wrist quite a lot on this one. Let's see here. Right about there. Fire air, yeah. Fire airs are pretty much universally not well liked just because of their stats, but they are pretty decent armors all the way around. Otherwise, look, decent looking armors. They just don't have great stats. Some of my favorite armors actually are fire air as far as looks. <clears throat> Same thing with spirit waters. I tend to like the spirit water looks a lot as well. So there's that one. That one I like the looks of a lot. I don't know that I would necessarily it's my, say it's my favorite this month, but it's definitely up there in the top two or three. Okay, that one is pretty wide, about 300, 295-ish. Yeah. And by the way, for anyone who's curious where I'm looking, I keep looking kind of down in this bottom corner over here. Uh, it's because my dimensions, you can see are kind of down here at the very bottom. This is the dimensions. And if I look right there, I can kind of see how far to the right I am and how far down below I am, just so I can get the pictures square. <clears throat> I wonder what you guys were talking about there. I was lost in a, um, yeah, a dragon, a dragon wind night, I think is what it's called, when you're talking about, I think. Um, so there's that one. That's the fire and air. So that's armor number two. Okay, now we have the Shade Flame Edge slash Burn Wheel Lance kind of rework, restyle, because it looks very similar to the Burn Wheel Lance, or not the, I keep calling it Burn Wheel Lance, it's the um, Shade Flame Edge and Burn Wheel Lance. I keep, I kept calling that one the Shade Burn, it's not the Shade Burn Scimitar, we just had that one. Shade Burn Scimitar recolor we just had in the last war. <clears throat> but it was uh, Water and Earth instead of... Um, Earth and Spirit? I can't, what the hell? I'm losing my mind. Totally losing my mind here. <clears throat> Shadeburn Scimitar was Fire Spirit. Sorry. <laughs> just, I'm losing my mind. It's been a long week. I'm already tired, and I still have another day of work to do tomorrow. All right. <clears throat> so this one, I'm pretty sure this is a blending, for lack of a better description, a blending of the two armors. So it's Shade Flame Edge on the head, but kind of more Shade Burn Scimitar in the armor lower half, maybe even the upper half. And then the weapon is a restyled um, Shade Burn. I, just, I think I just did said Shade Burn again. Burn Will Lance weapon with this end that's kind of been attached to it that looks more like the, the uh, Shade Flame Edge. And the, then the shield is kind of more Shade Flame Edge-ish as well. Effects on top of the Burn Will Lance um, effects. So, 
It's a, and I think it's a kind of a cool blending, really, if you ask me. <clears throat> I like the look of it. And the color scheme, of course, is cool. How would you go about getting these files and images? Um, I don't generally share them um, with anyone most of the time. I did for a little while, and I still kind of kick myself about it back in the day. Um, I was sharing them with Timmy for a little while, for a few months, and he would basically put the pictures up on his YouTube videos and go through it all. But after a while, he just got to a point where he wasn't really even mentioning me, which, I mean, I'm not like wanting people to pat me on the back constantly. You're so cool. That wasn't what it was about at all. But just the credit, just once saying, thanks to Blando for getting this to me or something. He did it like twice and then stopped. So after a while, I was like, why am I giving this to him when I can just do my own videos? So I did. I'd started doing my own. So that's how these started. And I've been doing them now for... 15 months, 16 months, something like that. So, and I started doing them shortly after I told him that I wasn't going to send them to him anymore. Um, but like I said, I normally don't send them to people really anymore because I I kind of, uh, for lack of a better description, kind of got burned once when I did it before. Not that I'm saying you're, you would do that, of course, but I'm just a little leery of doing that kind of thing anymore now. So, I don't know. You could also ask Casey, he might give them to you, because he's he's actually in the chat right now. He's online with us. He creates the same sheets that I do in a different way, of course, kind of a different formatting. Um, he's on iOS, so he's uh, he kind of creates them kind of more for his group of people. And I'm, I mean, I was up until very recently doing it for everyone, but I'm kind of not really distancing myself necessarily from iOS, but I just kind of, I don't know, for lack of a better description, I kind of got burned, and I don't really want to have that anymore. TMI. <laughs> TMI. Yeah. <laughs> That's what people tell me. <laughs> That's a wide armor. Holy shit. Just like the original, um, sh uh, original armor was really wide, too, with that big, long weapon on it. Um... 320, I think it should work. That's a damn white armor. Yeah, I mean, he, he for a while there just stopped doing videos. And I don't really know why. Maybe he just personal life, you know, other, other obligations. I have no idea. Um, doesn't really, not really any of my business, frankly. But <clears throat> it just kind of got on, got on my nerves a bit. And I, so I just said, sorry, I'm not doing that anymore. So... I may do it again in the future. I just don't know at this point yet. So get back to me. <laughs> get back to me on that. I may decide to do it later. I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of hesitant. So we're at uh, an hour and 27 minutes right on the nose pretty much right now. So hopefully we'll be done here shortly. <clears throat> All right. Uh, there's the armor right there. And this is, if I'm looking at it correctly... Exactly identical to the original. Actually, no, it's not. Now that I look at it, the upper half of the armor looks just like the original armor. The lower half kind of looks more like the Ebon Sky. Maybe I'm just seeing things. I don't remember if the bottom half of the armor looked like that before. Information available for anyone to get. Um, technically, yes, if you know how to get it. It's not like it's hidden away somewhere. Um, it's on a publicly available server if you know the address and what the URL to get to it. Um, and then extracting the files out of the file, extracting the data, this, these images out of the files after you get it is a bit more complicated. If you know how to do it, it's really easy, but if you don't, it's very time consuming and monotonous. Ask Casey, he knows. Um, because he and I did it that way for a long time, but we found a shortcut way of doing it that's quite fast, quite fast. Um, but it is not, it's not like it's, you know, not available. It's just not as easy to get if you don't know where to look. I guess that's probably the best way to describe it. If you don't know where to go to get it, you'll never, you know, you'll never find it, obviously. I don't know why I just did that. I just highlighted this one, copied it, and then didn't actually paste it anywhere. <laughs> Derp. Okay. There's the armor going underneath that head, and that actually does not look bad at all. This was the, like I said, this was the dual air fusion armor. 
um, the head. I think the armor is the original, um, the original fire, ar fire air armor in the first place was called the smog bound blade. It was a raid armor, fire and air in the first place. Um, I'm not positive, but I think the armor is also from that as well. Uh, but the head is from an entirely different armor, and then the ring goes with the armor's head. I think this actually might be the Ebon Sky Liege armor and head, now that I look at it. Because I don't recall the Smogbound Blade having little feathery bits to it, and the original Ebon Sky Liege did. So it's probably the head and the armor, the helmet, I guess, and the armor from the Ebon Sky Liege. So that's actually the Ebon Sky Liege, more or less, recolored with fire and air instead of just dual air. And then this one, and then the weapon and the shield are from the Smogbound Blade. And they're really not that different from the original. Because if I remember correctly, the original armor was um, air and fire, not fire and air, I think. I could be wrong on that. I could be remembering wrong. But the shield and the weapon are the Smogbound Blade, Voice of Auris, and then Wanted Soul, I think it was, the Casey said earlier. Um, oops. Did I do? Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. What am I doing? Um, this covers up all that arm. It's just, the shields kind of suck that way. <laughs> okay <laughs> maybe <laughs> I don't know like I said just get back to me check back with me later I may, I may just I may change my mind but as of right now I don't know <laughs> it actually doesn't look bad um, the original armor didn't look bad either um, but I kind of like the look of this one a little bit better the, the, the this definitely does kind of go better with that weapon than the original armor did. But the original armor had the horns that kind of went back up like this. Um, this one kind of curls up on top. Um, and then the weapon and the shield are from the, that, that original armor. But the armor itself, the body, and then the head are from the Evan Sky Leech. Okay. There's that guy. And yeah, it does look pretty cool. Uh, but this one, I think... I think if I remember correctly, I think I wrote this down um, on my kind of my estimate sheet here that I kind of wrote out in advance. I'm pretty sure this is a war armor. Um, can't guarantee it, of course, but since the other fire air armor in the files, uh, this is number four, right? Yeah. So there's a fire air seasonal, a fire air raid, and a fire air war. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a war. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure. So this one is also pretty wide. This is about 300. Move that down a bit because that kind of that wing coming off the back of that arm, back of that shoulder, kind of extends it out to the right a bit more than it would normally be. And there's armor four, fire air. And I accidentally copied and pasted there. So this one is another one of those kind of reworks, um, fire and earth. As I said earlier, in case you weren't watching, um, has the head and, and armor of one weapon, and the shield, and and um, sorry, the, the armor and head of one armor, and the shield and weapon of another. Um, I don't recall off the top of my head what this goes with originally, but they did redo the amulet entirely. It's a brand new amulet; it didn't exist previously. Okay, yeah, we can do that later, sure. No problem. Okay, there's that. Alrighty. And I'm pretty sure this is the original armor and head. The head's been, I think, a little restyled. Not exactly the same as the original, but the armor looks to be pretty much exactly the same as the original because I do remember um, this kind of the look of that shoulder plate I do remember that look of that shoulder plate vividly for some reason I remember the look of that and it looking just like that originally and I remember these plates coming down the sides of the legs because I think when I was going through the data I remember I commented at the time while I was going through it to create the sheet that the 
um, that that looked like kind of like a samurai esque sort of plate there underneath at the bottom. Not exactly, of course, but kind of similar. But I remember I mentioned that at that point at that point in time when I was making the sheet that month. I was like, that looks like a samurai's sort of armor, sort of. Not exactly, but kind of. It's like that. So there we go. There's that one. And the arm is top right corner. I don't know why that happens, but it happens a lot. The armor's the arm, that kind of forward facing arm is in the top right corner. I don't know how often. It's a frequent thing though. There's that. So there's that armor before we add anything to it. The only fire earth, so this is obviously the seasonal. Alright, now let's get the shield. Again, I think the shield and the weapon have been used before. I just don't remember on what. There's that massive shield. Because the weapon especially looks looks familiar. I don't remember from what though. The shield kind of does, but the weapon more so than the shield. I gotta blend that in a little bit too. Don't have to do it all the time, but sometimes I do. I kind of have to blend in that wrist a bit. Okay, and there's the bottom end of that weapon. Put that right about there. That's pretty cool looking. I like that one. Definitely fire and earth. Lots of gold and kind of green colors in it. It's cool looking though. I like it. I do like fire and earth armors also. Their stats are significantly better usually than fire and air and fire and fire just because they have the earth component. But they're still attack heavy. They just have better defense all the way around and sometimes considerably better HP depending. Mostly on the set bonus a lot of the times. Um, so this is about 260-ish. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Center that in there. Fire and water squad. <laughs> fire earth. Okay. That's the first half done. All right, cool. Back to here. Now we got the fire and fire exclusive. I'm going to make the armor for the fire and spirit at the end, even though it doesn't have the ring and amulet set anyway, and just put it on the sheet on the bottom right corner, just because, not bottom right, but the bottom row of the two sets, just because it's, it's already there. I might as well put it in. I just don't have the ring and amulet set for it yet. But it should still be in the files, obviously, because there are 10 armors this next month. Um, because there are three raids, two wars, fusion, and then the four normal seasonals. Ex regular seasonals and then three of the exclusive, of course. All right, there's that one. And this is the original armor and shield of, uh, I think it was called Infernal Glory, I think. It was a dual fire fusion armor before they went to dual exclusives. One of the last ones, I think, before they switched. Um, but this was the armor and the shield of that weapon. And we actually had this exact shield this month. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. Is it the fusion armor? I can't remember. That one right there, the fusion armor. It's the exact same shield. <laughs> it's the exact same shield. Um, just different colors, because this is water and fire instead. This is the fusion armor we still have left, by the way, and that one is the war armor coming up next weekend. So anyway, sorry, switching switching tracks there. <clears throat> Oops, no, don't do that, you doof. Where the hell did you go? Copy, paste. There we go. Somehow it copied the the entire sheet I was just working, I was just showing in there in the picture. That that literally that exact same shield is being reused from one month to the next. You know, whatever. So this one is um Yeah, anyway, let's see. I gotta get the arm. Sorry, losing track of what I'm doing. There's the arm right there, which I kind of thought was always kind of funky looking to my eyes. This massively humongous shoulder. This humongous shoulder plate that has kind of that demon-esque looking face on it. And then this itty bitty arm kind of sticking out the bottom. It just looks too narrow compared to this massive upper portion. But I don't know. Whatever. It's just me. 
visual thing that kind of bugs me. All right, so there's the shield. So there's that armor before I add anything else to it. Ta da. Now let's drop, oops, and let's drop this shield on top, which unfortunately does again cover up most of that arm. <clears throat> but it's okay. Better quality of the seasonal data mine pick. Um, better quality beyond what I create? Uh, generally speaking, no. Um, the files themselves are actually pretty large. Um, the original, let me pull it up here. Uh, this last month's um, is just shy of a megabyte. It's about 800 and something kilobytes, and it's about 1425 by 1100. So if I open this up and make it full size, you can kind of see how big that thing is. <clears throat> it's pretty big. Um, and if I zoom in, there's no loss in quality right there. So you can still see all the images. You can still see it really, and it's a really good detail. It doesn't get too grainy. Um, so this is the original file, and this is what I put up on KNDBot, the original file. It's all exactly the same as this. Um, so if you do get the copy of this from KNDBot, it's the same file. It's the exact same thing. So if you zoom in, you can still see all the detail and everything. It's, you know, it's all exactly the same. You can still see all the detail. You can even see the pets in better detail if you want. But that's, so that right there is the normal size. But if you get it off KNDBot, it's the same file. I put it up there. I don't. I don't render it down. I don't. You know, change the resolution or anything. It's exactly the same as what's on as what's on CandyBot. It's the exact same thing. So, but I was I was I was, I was saying it's funny you actually asked that question because for some reason, and I'm not sure if they're going to do it again um, this month or not. But during July, there's usually one, two, three files that come out. The first one usually is the initial pack of data. And then sometimes if data is missing a few days later, up to a week later, they'll do a second one or possibly a third one if they made some graphical mistakes. Like if, like for example, on the effects here, like the top portion of this might get chopped off or something. The Spartan armor is fusion. Yeah, well, it's the only one left um, <clears throat> by process of elimination. It's the only one left. Um, <clears throat> but they do sometimes release a third pack. Um, but yeah, this one right here, this is the Infernal Glory's head with a different um, different body, I think, and then the weapon of the Relentless Hell, I think it was called, and then the shield of the same armor. <clears throat> but yeah, if by process of elimination, there's only one armor left after this weekend. So this is this weekend's armor. This Not this, sorry, the weekend after this one. Um, the last war of the month is this one. And then the fusion armor sometime between now and the end of the month is this water and fire. Uh, and then we have seasonal, 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 and seasonal. And then we have raid, which is coming up, war, raid, and war. So that's it. There's really nothing else left. So can't really be anything else. Okay. And why am I doing this one first? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I normally do the ones that are like, I do them in order. But I started with this one. I'll go ahead and finish it. And then I'll reorder the other ones in just a second. So the weapon this goes with, um, I think... Was it called the Cloud Cutter? Something like that? It was Spirit and Air, I think. It was a seasonal armor. I don't think it was the um, the White Fur Alpha. So the White Fur Alpha head, but I don't think it was the same weapon. If memory serves me right. So this is a, a kind of a combo of three different armors. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's see. This is about 280-ish. So... Can I play Fortnite later? Are you talking to Dr. Redstone or to me? <laughs> I'm hoping you're talking to him because I don't play Fortnite. <clears throat> Spoiler, getting this weekend's armor. <laughs> um, anywho. I'm starting to lose people. <laughs> Boring them to tears. Okay, so this one is armor 10. Fire spirit. There's nothing else in there but that armor. Okay. So we have, uh, let's see. Six. Seven. Eight and nine. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to do the dual fire exclusive. Here it is.
So were you saying you're going to do a live stream during the raid, Doc? Is that what you were saying? Where are the legs? Yeah, it would be. Um, if you get it from... <clears throat> you can actually... I mean, that's a funny thing that a lot of people don't realize, that... People will add KNDBot to chats, um, and rather than just messaging KNDBot directly, which you can do whenever you want to. Um, oh, nice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't. I figured you probably were talking about EU, but I wasn't sure. Um, but you actually can just message KNDBot directly, rather than adding it to chats, which is fine. You want to add it to chats, that's fine. Just some people don't like bots in chats. Um, kind of more of a security concern for some people. Um, I personally don't care. But um, yeah, it's uh, it, you can actually just message CandyBot directly and get whatever you need. But if you get it directly from CandyBot, it'll be the original quality. Oops, hang on, shield. I kind of like the minimal shield on this one because it doesn't cover up a whole lot of things, and it kind of is more representative of the fact that fire dual fire armors don't have a lot of defense, and it's kind of a small shield, which I think is kind of funny because they don't have great defense. Um, and this massive blade, which is also indicative, representative, of it having really high, def really high attack. So, all right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting off track again. And there is that. That's more or less the armor, minus the, the last part of the hilt here at the back, the handle, whatever term you prefer. That right about y'all. There's that. There's our dual fire exclusive, which I think is pretty cool looking. I will likely not get it, but that's okay. I normally don't anyway. <laughs> I don't get exclusives. I don't. I don't spend enough time or enough money to bother with it. I just play the game to enjoy it. Two eighty five. Got trolled into to say in a heroic in the doctor our chat the other day and Candybot chimed in. I almost literally died laughing. <laughs> I remember that. I thought it was pretty funny as well. <laughs> like they, they, that was like, what are you talking about? You're trying to get first place or trying to get the top of the leaderboards and what? And he goes heroic, Brrr, and the chat fills up with information. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay, so there's that one. Armor number six, which is our exclusive. All right, then we have fire and air, which I think this one, to my eyes anyway, looks distinctly earth and air. But, I mean, it does have fire, of course, colors to it, but it does have kind of an earthy look to my eyes. Maybe it was originally intended to be an earth and air, and they decided to move it to a fire and air month instead. I don't know. I mean, it does obviously have some fire, uh, you know, looks like the, sh the eyes and the stuff and the and the, sh and the helmet as well as the shield and the, the uh, part of the weapon there. But I don't know. It's, it looks too earth and air to me to be fire and air, but whatever. There's that. It is a cool looking armor, though. I do like this one actually a lot. Kind of has a dragon look to it. And this is the raid armor, the fire and air raid armor for anyone who didn't already know that. It has kind of like scales going down the front of it there, and I'm surprised I'm not seeing a tail coming out the back of it like that very first armor. Where's the arm? There it is. Now it's saying you're, now it's saying you're following, Doc. <laughs> Gotta love those, those, uh, w those Twitch delays. And I'll get an email in like 10 seconds, or 15 seconds, that says, he is following you on Twitch. Thanks, Twitch, for notifying me like... 20 minutes late. <laughs> okay, there we go. So there's that armor before I add anything else to it. Pretty cool, I think. Then we have the shield. And that's that. 
which again unfortunately kind of covers up some of that arm but oh well and the weapon massive weapon which again it being fire air it's not going to have great defense or great health it'll be better than fire fire but not substantially it's still a cool looking armor I think this one and the fire water seasonal I think are my favorites this month with the dual fire of course being up there as well but this one I think as far as just plain looks alone I like all three of them a lot but I think I kind of like this one a bit more than the fire fire water even though they're all kind of cool looking okay Oop, no, all. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and right about there. Yep, I figured. This is a wide armor. Mostly because of that weapon. <clears throat> the weapon's humongous. Which I like. Right about there. This is armor 7, fire air, <clears throat> two armors left. So this one, um, like I said, this was actually the first T10 armor I got on EU. Um, we had uh, three people in the guild that decided to go, they wanted to go indie top 10. Uh, the editor I'm using is called paint.net. <clears throat> yeah, it's a reskin. Welcome, super noob. Good to see you. Yeah, fire airs always do have low health. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is a reskin. This is just a regular run of the mill, exactly the same armor as original, which was spirit and water, I think. It may have been water spirit, but it was one of the two. <clears throat> um, this is just a regular run of the mill recolor. No changes at all. It's exactly the same armor as it was originally, just with different colors. I don't mind some reskins, I just wish there were less of them. Okay, there's that. Right about here. Reuse is good for the planet. <laughs> <clears throat> this is 100% digital. <laughs> Therefore, its its impact on the planet, as it were, is minimal at best. <clears throat> okay, anyway. Um, yeah, so this, this armor was originally uh, the first armor I got on EU as a T10. Like I said, the, the, we had three people in the guild that just decided they wanted to go top 10 indie, and they ended up, all three of them in the top 10, so we, I actually ended up getting this armor essentially for free. Um, it wasn't planned. They just decided, you know, on it was like partway through day one that they were hitting so well, they decided they wanted to go. They wanted to go top ten. They wanted to go T ten. So, they all just went ham and blew through like a few thousand gems a piece or something crazy like that. I don't remember exactly what it was, uh, but we ended up all getting this armor, and some of us only scored like enough to get the set. So it was like fifteen, maybe twenty million points. Um, I think I had like thirty five or something million. Um, but we all ended up getting this armor, so it's kind of cool. And then, like, uh, just a few months ago, when it was in the uh, when it was in the T40 or whatever rewards for the people who are below the top the top tier, um, I got the plus version later. So on the same account. <clears throat> Whoops! No, don't count. Don't save. Um, so I have the plus and regular on the same account. <laughs> I've got the I got the regular from the raid originally, and the plus later on from a a lower guild reward, lower tier guild reward. Okay, that one, about 240. Yeah, that's actually taller. And it is wide, which is really rare. <coughs> how funny and how special it is. I actually, I actually really do like this armor. I liked it in the original armor too. Um, it was one of the first one of the first armors I'd gotten that had over 7, 7k stats on attack and defense at the same time and still had over 1,000 HP. One of the very first ones I got because it was water and spirit and they generally have good stats because of the spirit. Uh, 
and the set bonus balanced it out nicely. Yeah. Yep, the the bone the boneless general was a cool armor as well. So this is armor eight, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Thundercracker was the original armor, the fire and air originally. And then we have this fire and air, which is the head of the eagle eye guard. And I think it might even be the armor of that one as well. So this is an, a fire and or excuse me, air and air fusion armor from a long time ago. It was one of the first maybe five or ten fusion only armors. The dual element fusion armors from way back when. I think this is the original armor with it if memory serves me correctly. Um, so it's the armor and the head of the eagle eye guard with the weapon and shield. Actually the shield might be the eagle eye guard too. I'm not sure on that one. But the weapon is from a totally different armor. It's like um it's an earth and water, I think, seasonal. I don't know, can't remember now. Legs, there we go. It might be the <clears throat> the armor actually might be might go with the might go with the weapon and the shield and the head go together. I don't remember on this one off the top of my head. And I just got the email notification, Doc, that you're not following me on Twitch. <laughs> Literally just got it. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love those delays. <clears throat> Um, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, this might actually be the armor, or at least part of the armor of the of the Eagle Eye Guard originally, and then the weapon and the ring and amulet or whatever are from the. Gonna go up a little higher on that one. Um, the the weapon in the and the uh, ring are from the original armor, the uh, different armor rather. Okay, yeah, this does look like the Eagle Eye Guard. Um, shield for sure because it's massive the size of that thing is huge <clears throat> okay and then the weapon of an entirely different armor it might be the only component other than the ring that actually goes with this armor or sorry the amulet no not the ring the ring is a different different thing entirely it's the amulet from this armor the weapon the armor went with originally Okay, there we go. <clears throat> it's going to go right about here. That actually doesn't look bad at all. I like that one too. There we go. And with the armor construction now complete, I can move on to the sheet now that we're in almost two hours. Holy crap. I haven't had a stream run this long in a long time. I usually am done at about the hour 40, hour 45 minute mark, something like that. 290, roughly. Yeah, maybe two, 285. That looks better. Okay. This is armor 9, fire and air. And done. Cool. All right, let me look at my last sheet here. Too many distractions. <laughs> no, not really. I'm just, I think I started off just, I kind of distracted myself at the very beginning and got off track several times and then I couldn't figure out rings and amulets and I spent a lot of time going through all those and it's just kind of a pain. Welcome Midnight Rider. It's now saying you're following me. Um, even though you've been in the chat for a while. Uh, okay, let me see. My original dimensions of the last one were 1425 by 1100. Let me do the new one here. 1450 by 1100, just to be safe. And we're going to now get our boxy doohickey about the... Three fifty mark down to about the seven hundred mark, right about there. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to do a new layer, <clears throat> and we're going to first of all head back to here and jump back to my folder where I've saved everything. There we go. I need to fix that. That's going to bug me. It needs to be capitalized. <laughs> me being anal retentive. <clears throat> okay. Let me see. Is that right on top of it or is it below it? It's on top of it. Perfect. Got it right the first time this time. I just mess that up with my every time I do this for whatever reason I mess that up I get the, the layers wrong and so it just it never quite on top what state do I live in I'm in Utah I'm in northern Utah about 40-ish miles north of Salt Lake City all right <clears throat> then we go back 
to here. This one I think is amongst my favorites this month, this fire and water. I think it just looks cool. I'm gonna back that off just a little bit. That's a humongous armor. I'm gonna have to move that in. Gotta kind of resize things somewhat because it's humongous. It can be a little bit closer to that one than it was. So there we go. I'm gonna run out of room if I don't do that. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, there's that, and this one is now, this one's also huge. I'm probably going to have to do like a lot of this kind of rearranging of things. These things are humongous. I've got three really humongous armors. Got to scooch that one over and move it down just a bit. Try the cape on it. On, on which one? <laughs> I mean, I could put it behind it so you can kind of see what it looks like, but I'll do that in a minute. Um, well, actually, well, why not? I'll do it right now. I don't normally do that in these, uh, but what I can do is I can go into here and do edit. I'll do it with this one just so we can kind of see it. Do a new layer, and we're going to go back into the cape. Edit this one. And go up to here. It would really honestly look better on the dual fire. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll do that. I'll just, I'll do that. I'm just not going to mess with this one. I'm not going to do anything with that. Okay. I'll leave it there for now. Once I get everything else loaded on here, I'll, put, I'll do it. But let me get that done first, really quick. Let me get all the armors laid out here. So I'm on armor four now. This one's also pretty wide, but not as wide as the previous ones, thankfully. I should have enough room, I think. Because this fire and earth is not that big, thankfully. Woohoo! It fits. <laughs> Hooray! I could probably even move these guys over, over, the, over to the right a bit more if I needed to. I may actually do that. Just move these guys over. Just a little bit, so I'm not quite so bunched up. And I'm going to move actually this one too. And then I'll just kind of bunch them all up a little bit more to the right. <coughs> there we go. That looks a little better. Okay. <coughs> Back to here. We now do our dual fire. Dual fire is going to go right the. Right about there should be good down just a titch. Fire and air. This one's also really, really wide, but thankfully not as wide as the ones above it. Still pretty big. Right about there. <coughs> and then our raid armor, which is puny by comparison to the ones right above it and next to it. It's tiny. Look at the size of it. It's tiny. It's a wee little bobby. By comparison, it's puny. Okay, and then we have our last one that doesn't have a ring and amulet set. We'll put here on the far right, just so we have it on there. Okay, so now that I've got this laid out, let me go back to here. We're going to do this one here. And we're going to do a new layer. We'll take that. We'll copy it. Right paste. Oops, wrong layer. Backward. There we go. I'm going to have to make that bigger. Let's resize this as uh, 350 by 350. <clears throat> and i got to delete this excess background here. So I can kind of make it look a little nicer on the back end. And I'll kind of have to center this a bit because it's a little bit large. Oops. I'll move you down to about there, I think should work. And we will now go back to here and paste. So that is more or less what it would look like. For anyone who's curious, that's what the dual fire would look like with the wings and everything attached to it. So that is that. <laughs> and it makes the armor, the actual armor itself, much bigger just because of the size of the cape. It's just humongous. It's not even fitting all the way on the screen here. If I put it kind of centered in the back there, it's still not even all the way on the screen. It's still over here. But just so you kind of see what it looks like. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> it actually does look really good. <laughs> it kind of matches up nicely. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. And then just for comparison, so everyone can see what it looks like without the wings, We'll put this one instead, so you can see what it looks like in kind of more of a, rel a relaxed pose, which is kind of like about 
There. It still doesn't look bad. Not as nice, but not bad. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, let's get this one done here. Look how the ring and amulet sets. Zoom in here a bit, make myself a new layer. There's the original amulet and ring from this armor in the first place. Then we have the amulet. This is a new armor. <clears throat> Put that right about the same place as the other one there. And the ring. Right about here. Then we have the shade flame edge and uh, burn will lance combo. Right about there ish. And then this one right about there. I need to actually make myself kind of a little like cheat sheet, kind of a diagram to put everything out. I always do this by hand with the exception of putting the armors on the lines down here. I do all this by hand. I just kind of eyeball it, which I probably should not. I should probably, oops, I didn't want to do that. What are you doing, you stupid thing? Ring, not the amulet, you derp. I jumped ahead a little bit too far. I didn't mean to go quite that far ahead. I, mi I misclicked. That's okay. Right about there. This one's really tall just because of that top of that, the horns on the top of that helmet. And then we have the amulet, which is an entirely new amulet. I haven't seen that one before that I'm aware of. Along with the ring that went with the original armor head. If you kind of look at the little kind of flares coming off here, it looks very similar to the top of the head. So I should have spotted that earlier. I don't know why I didn't, but I spent like a good solid 10 minutes trying to figure out rings and amulets. I was derping hard earlier. Okay, back to the fire fire. So the fire fire amulet, unsurprisingly, looks just like the shield. And the ring. Welcome, Wing Thumbrion. Um, and the ring looks just like the waist, more or less, right there. So if you take this and flip it upside down, it looks just like that right there. So there's the ring and amulet for the dual fire. <coughs> now we have, whoops, I keep alt tabbing in the wrong window. That one, there we go. I need the amulet, which looks just like, again, unsurprisingly, looks just like the shield, which is a very common theme and then the ring, which looks like the shoulder. Different color scheme, of course, because it's fire instead of it being air. It's right, right there. <coughs> and then we have this reskin, which is a traditional reskin, the exact same armor recolored. That looks just like the shield, but upside down. And then the ring looks just like the shoulder, right there. So we have two back-to-back -back that have rings that look just like the shoulder and amulets that look just like the shield. Fairly common, actually, for that to happen. Whoops. No, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to do it again. Undo. Undo. There we go. <clears throat> Getting ahead of myself yet again. And this is the amulet from this armor. But the ring from the original head, weapon, whatever thingy. Actually, I don't think that's actually the, the ring that goes with this armor originally, now that I look at it. Um, if you remember um, from just a few months ago, we had an air spirit armor that was the T20 to T40 reward for the war. Um, it was air and spirit. I can't remember the name. But the original armor was the Dragon Wind Knight. It was, a, it was a reskin of that armor. And then we just had it again. It was like an air and water, I think, uh, raid armor. That looks just like the ring from that armor. It might not be, but it looks just like it to me anyway. Okay, there's the armors, rings, and amulets all done. Because I'm missing these ones, I can't add that one to that, obviously. But that's it. So now we get to add all the elements and all that good stuff. And I'm going to, first of all, um, really quickly put my little boxy do down here. Oops, I need to unselect what I'm selecting first. There we go. Put it right about here. I've probably made that too big. I tend to do that a lot. Right about 24-ish, I think should be good. I made that box almost perfect. Doesn't happen often. 
but I do occasionally get it right. Okay, <clears throat> let's get that on there. I wanted just to get that done before I forgot. Now let's jump back to my other folder where I have all of my elements because I need to get those on here first. So let's start off with water. So we have this one in the top. That one's going to go right about here. And then we have this one down here at the bottom, center. That one's also fire and water. That look about right? Yeah, okay. And then we have spirit, which we have three of those. Zoom in on the right place, you doofy. There we go. So spirit is right about there. And then we have spirit right here. Right about there, and then spirit right about here. Very first armor is also fire and spirit. So there's three, as I said, three fire spirits, three fire airs, two fire waters, one fire earth, and one dual fire. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to go to the earth, which is the only one over here on the far right. It's the only one of the earth in this particular month. A little bit too close to the foot there. <clears throat> there's that one. No. Um, the epic boss armors are always reused um, armors with no changes. Um, occasionally, some of the first few, they would use rings and amulets from different armors and name them different things. But since then, they've always been the um, just reused armors. Uh, same ring and amulet set, same look, same everything. They're never included in the monthly data mines. They're just because they're, they're just existing data that's in the game, just reused with much much improved stats. But the armor will be a fire spirit armor, most likely. Or wait, no, fire water. I'm drawing a blank. Um, water air. F yeah, it's fire water. Sorry, it's fire water next month. Okay, now air. Go into here. This one right here is the one of the three. Right about there. This is another one of the three. Right about there. Um, and then the fusion armor, only one of the fusion armors is included in the files. The What we call the on element fusion armor, meaning it's fire something, which is usually in this case fire spirit. Um, for fire month it'll be fire spirit. The, um, where's it at? One, two, three, oh I got it, never mind, duh. Um, the fire spirit is now fusion instead of um, instead of it being dual fire, because it was previously dual element and then the exclusive was adjacent. But the, so just a quick a quick recap before I finish up my element laying out here. So this first one is raid. This one is, I'm, I'm assuming seasonal. Um, this one is, um, I think probably a war. This one is most, this one's a, um, uh, what do you call it? Probably a war also. Uh, this is a seasonal. This is the exclusive. This is a raid. This is a raid. This is a war, probably. I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Hang on. Fire air. Let me look at my notes. Because we do have a fire air that's a raid. That's this one. This fire air appears probably a war. And then we have a seasonal. Sorry. This is this one. One of these two of the fire airs. I'm not sure which will be a seasonal. Because this one's a raid, obviously it's not that one. So one of these two will be a seasonal. I'm thinking it's probably going to be this one, the bottom end, the bottom row, but not really sure. And then this last one over here, who knows? Um, probably, let's see here, because we've got one fire air war, one fire air seasonal, and one fire air raid. Then we have fire water seasonal, fire earth seasonal, fire spirit fusion. I'm thinking probably this fire spirit on the far right is going to be the fusion. It could also be this one. Hard to say. Um, because it can't be that one because that's that's the raid armor. So one of these two here is a fusion and one's a war. Beyond that, I have no idea. Um, because it's hard to say some months for sure. Obviously the raids are a given because they're using previously used bosses. So this one and this one are obviously raids because they match the original bosses that they came with the first time. They're just recolored. Um, and then this one here is obviously a seasonal because it's the only fire in Earth. 
And then this one's the dual fire, so that's obviously the exclusive. Unless they decide at some point in the future to change back to adjacent, which who knows, they might. But that's as it is for now. That's all I really can say. I can't guarantee anything, of course. It's just my thinking on what it is. Um, but I'm not usually far off. So there's fire water, or fire spirit, excuse me. And there's fire water, which will be right about there, which I should have actually, hang on, move that one down just a titch so it matches up better. And then this one, it bothers me when things don't kind of line up <laughs> like they should. <coughs> Oops, I all tabbed out of the wrong window. There we go. Okay, back in the right window again. <coughs> okay. I got fire. I'll go down here. Let's go ahead and drop these ones down here really quick since I'm already in this section. Fire and fire. So that looks about right. Looks good to me. Fire and air. Right about here. Okay, I'll zoom out, zoom back in. Fire and spirit. Number two in the files. Fire and water, number two. Fire and air, number three. Fire and air, number two. And then fire and earth. Whoops, I went way too far in there. Zoom out a bit. Right about there. Then fire and spirit, the last one in the bottom row, which I'm guessing is probably either going to be a war or a fusion. It's hard to say. <coughs> okay, so there's the armors. There's all the all the good stuff there. Let me save this really quick before I move on. Just so I don't lose my progress if something catastrophic were to happen. Okay, there we go. So that's the armors. Like I said, raid, seasonal, fusion, I'm thinking. Um, I think probably war, seasonal, exclusive, raid, raid, um, seasonal, fusion, or war. One of these two. I don't know. So the fire in the air I'm not sure about, and the fire in the spirit I'm not sure about. But the rest of them pretty much, I think we're pr probably pretty good to assume that's what they will be. Okay, now let's go back to here. Grab the, oh, I didn't move my, my, my crafting materials over. Oops. Forgot to do that. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm assuming, and based also off of what Casey said, um, I'm assuming that the egg is probably going to be the exclusive material, and then whatever this thing is, which it looks like like a Hershey's Kiss, if you know what those are, with like a ring around it, who knows, um, is the regular material. But it's also possible it could be the other way around. I don't know. No way of knowing for sure, unfortunately. So there's that. Now we can do the pets and the cape and all that other good stuff. Okay, we're gonna do another layer here just to make things interesting. So I can put this right over the top of it and it doesn't cover anything up or hide anything. Ha ha ha. Okay, zooming in. Get this right about there. Tier two, right about there, tier three, right about there, just a little bit over, there we go, tier four, I'll probably have to resize these just slightly, maybe not, not resize, but reposition, right about there, and tier five, What about there? That actually looks pretty good. First try. I've been getting better about that. I used to have issues with that. I would try to get it right and try to get it right and just do it over and over and over again and just drive myself bonkers because I couldn't quite get the layout right. I couldn't quite get them to line up where I wanted them. This time it worked out. It's been actually working out pretty well the last few, try the last few times. Okay. Now, let's get the bosses. And there's three of them this time. So it means it's kind of a, kind of have to space them out a bit more. So instead of it being like one here and then one here, I kind of have to space it off a bit. So 
one there, that's our fire and air. Number two is our fire and spirit. Right about there. And number three, <clears throat> which is our fire and water. Right about there. Okay. Now before I move on and forget what I'm doing, go over here and get my fire elements, zoom in, drop them down right about there, roughly. And then we'll take this one over here, right about there, roughly. Oh, maybe a bit more to the left. And then this one right about there, just a hair to the left. Okay, there we go. Now we have fire and air, the first one. There's our air. And we have fire and spirit, which is this one in the middle, right about there. And then fire and water over on the far right side. Like about like that. How's that look? That looks pretty good. Okay. Now let me get my little text box doohickey right about here. I'll move it. I'm definitely going to have to recenter that one for sure. Raid bosses images? I do have them. Yeah, they're right here. <laughs> Okay, there's the bosses. I'm definitely going to have to move that one. It's definitely off center and it's going to bug me. Um, move right about here. And the pets actually looks pretty good. It might be a little bit off. Just a little bit off center. Not much though. There we go. Okay. And last but not least, we have our cape. Actually, I'm going to do something I have not done prior to now. I'm going to make this as part of the original image that I give out to everyone. Let's resize this just a little bit more. I want to make sure it's big enough. And then I'm going to delete all of this background. Whoops, just to make sure it fits. And then we will go back to this one here and paste. And put that right about there. And then I'm going to drop this up a layer, resize it. Oops, actually. Hang on a second. Let me getting ahead of myself here. What size is that? About 190. So let's resize this one. It's about 240. And let me get it all moved around here, nice and pretty, where I want it to be. And width-wise, I'm looking at about 215. work. Okay, copy and paste. Kablamo. And there's my cape. I'm just going to do it like that. <laughs> Not even going to put my little the little normal box doohickey I put behind it, the little this guy right here. I normally put that in the file, like on the sheet, but I'm not going to this time. I'm going to do it a little differently this time. All right. Just for for why not? For shits and giggles. All right, let me get my box down here. Come out like that. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are even talking about. Okay, <clears throat> let me kind of center this one as well. It's kind of a little off to my eyes. There we go. Okay. And now, I could probably trim this up a bit, but I want to make sure, actually no I can't, I gotta, I gotta move these guys down just a hair. They're up a little too high, I didn't realize. I still have to have text, room for my text in between. <laughs> yeah, I actually have not done that before. I usually just do, let me show you, I usually do this, and I just place, paste this guy kind of in that same general area like that. That's what I usually do. 
and I'm not doing, I'm not going to this time. So just for why not for something different, so people can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, now let's get my text doohickey here, my red, and that right there. Going to here and say August. Oh, for crap's sake, stop that! I hate when I do that. I forgot I had something highlighted, but wouldn't actually type anything at all. Right about. There should work. I hate when it does this. It kind of jumps around on me and I can't see what I'm doing. Stop it. Possessed application. It actually fit pretty well where I wanted it to fit. Right about there. Okay. And we'll go over here, change that one to that, and we're going to do season 37 fire. And move that one right about here. I am going to actually move this cape just up a little bit. It's a little bit too close to that text. And I don't like it. There we go. Much better. Okay. Now we're going to take this, and we're going to highlight that. I'm going to throw an effect on it, just because I liked it to kind of stick out a bit. Okay, let me save my progress really quick. Now if I go to the background here, theoretically, I should be able to take this and go like this. Oh, I still have something highlighted, sorry. Unclick, there we go. Back to here and go kabam. Ha, <laughs> wrong color. <laughs> Messed myself up. That one, that one, and that one. Ta-da! There we are. So all I got to do is add in my text right here, which I'm going to do right now in my very front layer. So this one is second armor. Move this the center again. Second. Oops, I've still got it on black. I'm going to change my color. There we go. Second armor. Sorry. Second row. Second armor. That's actually kind of tight right there. I'm not sure if I like that. I don't like that. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to go back to here. We're going to zoom in, and I'm going to slide all these little icons right here. I line those up really well. I'm going to move them up. Oops, I'm in the wrong layer. No wonder it's not working. Move them up just a hair, and then I can move all of this down. Like so, much better. Okay, now I can click here and here, and then jump back to here. Text, second, no, I'm still in black again. Second row, second armor. Much better. That looks a little bit more, more room there, to, more room to move. And then this one is first row, first armor, if memory serves me right. Zoom out. Yep, that one right there. Okay. And then we have um, second row, third armor. Like so. Ta da! There it is. All done. <clears throat> so that is the month of August, next month. I'm sure eventually the ring and amulet set will show up for this one. Um, I'm not sure why it's not there, but it will eventually show up. It's only three more images. That got left out for whatever reason. It might be there like tomorrow or the day after. But there it is. That's it. So we are now done. We are at two hours, almost exactly two and a half hours. Two hours and 27 minutes. One of the longest live streams I've done in a while. I'm usually at about an hour and 40, hour and 45 minutes most of the time. But there we are. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, send it out the usual way. I'll upload it to KND Bot probably within the next half hour at the very most. Um, but that is it. Thanks everyone for joining. And just a, qu a quick final recap. Just to make sure I'm not leaving anything out, because I've done this before in previous live streams. I'll say, oh, I'm going to give you a breakdown of the of the armors and what I think they're going to be. I did it earlier, but just as a quick recap, this first armor is raid. This is seasonal. This is just my thoughts. This one I think is probably fusion. This one is probably going to be um, a war armor. This one's going to be seasonal, exclusive, raid, raid, um, seasonal, and uh, war. That's what I think. 
So the wars are going to be fire spirit and fire air. The raids are going to be fire spirit, fire water, fire air, and then the usual seasonal options. So fire, 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 earth, fire, water, and fire air. That's it. So we're done. Thanks everyone for watching again as usual um, and for sticking with me for this long convoluted process that took a hell of a lot longer than it really should have. But I'm just having one of those days. I'm just brain fried from the week and getting distracted too easily. But there we are. So thanks everyone again for watching and I'll see you again in just a few weeks. Thanks.